Okay, so welcome back. And now we're going to do a proof of an identity. So we want to verify that this is equal to this. So I'm going to start with this side because this is going to be a lot easier to deal with. I can apply the, uh, the sum to product formulas to the top and the bottom, and then I'll have a product over division, which means I can cancel things out to get to this. Okay. Rewriting this using the ratio and then going backwards, uh, you could do it. I think it's going to be easier to go this route. Okay. So let's do that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this left side and I'm going to use the formulas. So this is going to give me um, negative 2 sine. Now this is my alpha and beta. So it's going to be uh, 4t plus 2t over 2 sine 4t minus 2t over 2. So that's going to be the top. Divided by the bottom. Now this is going to give me sine cosine. Okay? And it's plus. So it's going to be 2 and it's going to be sine alpha plus beta. So it's going to be 4t plus 2t over 2 times cosine of alpha minus beta, which is going to be 4t minus 2t divided by 2. And now, guess what? I just have to simplify this thing, so let's do that. So now I'm going to simplify the arguments. So this is going to be um, negative 2, and this is going to be sine of what? 6t over 2, which is 3t, times sine of what? This is going to be 2t over 2, which is just t. Now here, this is going to give me 2 times sine of 6t over 2, which is going to be, give me sine of 3t again. Ah, there it is. So the negative 2 divided by 2 is going to give me negative 1. This is going to give me positive 1. And then guess what? I'm going to end up with cosine t here. There it is. And so I get my result. So this is going to be negative 1, right? Negative 2 divided by 2. This is going to give me positive 1. You don't have to write all this out. I'm just showing you. And then this is going to be tangent. And so, of course, that gives me a negative tangent t. And I'm done. Have a great day.